They're 12 of the greatest players to ever play the game of baseball. They would run, they would throw, they would catch, they would hit, they were the best. Now they face each other on a different field. This is where legends come to play. This is the Players Club. Up first, two-time American League MVP, the Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. Second up, Hall of Famer, the Chicken Man, Wade Boggs. Next up, he had one of the most famous home runs in Major League history, Joe Carter. Clean up the Cincinnati Reds reliever and one of the nasty boys, Rob Dibble. The National League record holder for most consecutive games played, Steve Garvey. Coming in relief is the first reliever to reach 600 saves, Trevor Hoffman. Next up, 1982 batting champion and nine-time All-Star, Gary Sheffield. Five-time Cy Young Award winner, big unit, Randy Johnson. He is the Wizard of Oz, Hall of Famer, Ozzie Smith. The only player to beat Ricky Henderson in stolen bases, Harold Reynolds. The only pitcher to have more than 200 wins and 150 saves, John Smoltz. And finally, the first All-Star in both baseball and football, Bo Jackson. Welcome to the Players Club here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm host David Wells. I'm here with 12 of the finest baseball players in baseball history, Hall of Famers, and some future Hall of Famers. Now I'd like to introduce my co-host, Amber Wilson. Amber, Thank you, please. David. First time I've ever taken the mound. It's a great place to be. It is. I'm excited to be here. We have a lot of exciting stuff to come. Yes, we do. We have five events here that these guys are going to take part in. Basketball, skills, golf, go-kart, and poker. It's scoring for each event, 12 points for first, 11 for second, and so on. What do you see happening, and who is your favorite? Well, it's been a few years since some of these guys have picked up a bat, and we have some activities a little bit maybe outside of their comfort zone, so maybe some embarrassing moments, perhaps. Maybe some Hall of Fame type moments, we'll see. So who do you pick out of these 12 guys? Well, the easy money is obviously Bo, because, you know, allegedly he knows. But my money is on Steve Garvey. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah, it is. You're going for the yeah, handicapper. I am. I the am handicapper. Going for the handicapper. I like that. But there's there's a sneaker. I, there's two guys I like, Trevor Hoffman. Okay. And I like John Smoltz. He's an athlete. But you know what? You never know because there's a lot of good athletes here. So stay tuned, find out, and see what happens next here at the Players Club. Here we are at the Palms Hotel on the third floor. You would have never guessed what we have here. It is a basketball court at the Hardwood Suites. Here's how the basketball works. Everyone gets five shots from five locations, ranging from a layup to the pro three-pointer. Bogs up, competition oh. underway. A simple wrist shot. Woo! <laughs> Two layups. He might be looking for some chicken right about now. Oh. Oh. I thought somebody was clearing the balls out. Before the competition started, we all got together for dinner. It didn't take long. But in all fairness, with John having surgery, can y'all put those knobs on this car so they can turn it quick? Bo Jackson, great competitor, great guy. Unless you have Harold's doing Is that Randy Johnson smiling? Bo. Between me and Harold, I think we can catch Pete Rose. Yeah. I mean, he got 4,000, I got 256. Back to Boggs finishing up. There's a four pointer. Total points 15. Earlier, as we get Devil here, the big man on campus, he's just too bulky for free throw shooting. I mean, this guy, he should be in the boxing ring. He's 26 points, he's still not too far behind. Joe Carter, great athlete, great attitude. When he puts his mind to something, he can get it done in anything that he does. He's a leader at this point with 33 points. Steve Garvey. Got the ring around right there and didn't get the shot. Let me get that first hit. <laughs> As you can see, he's getting a little frustrated. He'll prevail somehow, some way. He's got 11 points now. 
<laughs> Devil and Frank Thomas getting all over him. And then we got Bo. Oh, okay. Lucky bounce Bo. That's called a teaser. <laughs> but Bo knows basketball too. He knows everything, and then he's going to try to throw his hip in there, obviously, to get a little bit of sympathy. Have you got the right balls out there? <laughs> Swoosh. <laughs> Still paying me. <laughs> yes, they are, but I think you're going to get paid for the rest of your life. <laughs> Great bank shot right there. Great bank shot. I don't know if that was in the cards, but... Uh... I called it! <laughs> <laughs> No, you didn't call it. You just missed it so bad, it was good. All draws, all draws. They all draws. A little short. There it is, all draws. Good rotation on that ball, coming off his fingers, very nice. He hit the home run in the All-Star game. 32 points for Bo. I think that puts him in second place behind Joe Carter. The Wizard, Ozzie Smith, <laughs> sinks the first one. Sure, come on now. Very poised. But Ozzie used the same ball three times. That's disqualification. <laughs> the Wizard. So far, so good. Anybody got Dr. Phil on speed dial? <laughs> Ozzy knows a little thing about free throw shooting as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we do. We're going to bounce. It's all about the bounce. I think this is a little too far out of his range, but obviously we we're all wrong. Got on his back. Oh, that good. Oh, Two in a row. Ozzy Smith with 35 points. I believe the man takes the lead. It was an air ball from six feet they got you. John Smoltz. Oh, is that what he said? He's been talking about no <laughs> Is that what he said? John's a great competitor. I hear you. Oh, I'm just out of the three-point line. Then, then the distractions come. Yep. I'm letting him zero in right now. Got a nice, and, uh, nice rhythm, John. Nice rhythm. I think he's just coming off of surgery as well, but uh, I just think he needs to shave the hair on the sides a little bit, kind of look like me, and then, you know, we could be brothers. Oh, bottom of the net. Uh, this might be our 40, yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Just came straight from there. Oh, oh, look at that goes. shot. He's got to still win it. Oh. You can still win it. Locking it in. Oh. Very nice. He's just got touch. John, uh, he put up some good numbers there. He's got the 43 and a commanding lead. So, the final scores for basketball. Smoltz, Smith, and Carter coming in first, second, and third place, and Garvey, <laughs> And the standings after one event. Smoltz has 12 points for first place, Ozzy Smith, 11 for second place, Joe Carter for third with 10. All the legends of baseball, unbelievable. Come on, children, y'all, walk up. We ain't got all day, it's hot out here. Y'all know Bo's setting y'all up. He's telling you how to do it wrong so he can win. Get it all right. Oh, Bo knows archery. And look at that. Looks like Randy's buying in. Up high. Oh, 
Oh, really? Right underneath. That's pretty good. That's good. Congratulations. You're a good coach. You're a good coach. Congratulations, Grasshopper. Warming up, Smoltz. Here's how the course is laid out. Each player hits a ball into fair territory, then three chances to throw a football into the target, then it's on to soccer, three chances there, and archery, three shots at hitting the target. Little did you know, John Smoltz does have skills. He was a 97 Silver Slugger Award for pitchers. So I think this is a layup for him. He's just, he's laying down, nonchalant, being quiet. Doesn't want to let all his mad skills out here, but he's got them, man, so. I'm gonna have to let the cat out of the bag and let these guys know we'll rag him. See how he does under pressure. We'll let you know. John, I can do anything better than you Smoltz. Gets the hit. But let me tell you something. He even throws the ball pretty good when you bounce him in, but hey. That's hey, hey Seneca Count. Oh, that's that. Win. No. He Luke Grozier that kick count. right there. You go you go hop it in there. Woo. Oh, Kicks it okay. into the net, right into the corner. Keep it on the... Up. He's Keep having trouble straight. putting that arrow on the hook for the shot. And I mean, look at that. That form, I mean, that is about as bad as you can get. Oh. Just a bit outside. <laughs> put three fingers under and put it, yeah. yeah. Put it right up against the arrow. John Smoltz, that's embarrassing. <laughs> put it like that. That made the clock is ticking. Nobody's rooting right for you, Smoltz. <laughs> I know. Nobody. Put your but anyways, <laughs> Bo Jackson... His mentor of archery gets him up there and look at that. Oh, oh, this dang. is kind of sad. What <laughs> new Atlanta Braves going right. for the corner? Sabotage. And his time is ticking away. Does he have it? Oh, no. Okay. Hang with him, John. 1.14, 0.33, not good enough. Some of the guys went earlier. Rob Dibble, you think being a pitcher would have a good arm? His total time, 35.5 seconds. Randy Johnson steps up to the plate, gets a hit. He's a pitcher. Wild football throws all over the place. Gator arm in it. There you go. Uh -oh. Oh. He only has three shots, and he's taking an extra one. His total time, 30.39 seconds. <laughs> Trevor Hoffman. It's fair. Everyone was picking him to win it. California boy. That's the key. Just throw it low and bounce in there if you have to. Look at that. Just everything quiet. See, that's Trevor that's took quick. some... Uh, Trevor tearing up the course. Very nice. He took some skills with me. 20.26, leader of the pack. <laughs> Joe Carter, he's just taking his time. He knows what it takes. He's not in any rush. Uh, a little, uh, little hook on that first one. And I don't know. This one is just kind of eking. Oh, just a bit outside. But uh, three chances he gets it rolling in. His time is still going pretty good. Good form. Hits the thing. 55 46. Oh. <laughs> Harold Reynolds. You would think they have a little love affair here. Wrong side. Well, you're the one in my way. <laughs> I'm going to make this really ugly over here. <laughs> I mean, he's looking like he's shooting a pea shooter right here, and he only shoots it about 10 feet. That is terrible. But I think Harold's a little intimidated by an arrow because if it's got a point at it, look at the guy. <laughs> See, I would too. I'm surprised they didn't duck because that mask ain't going to do anything with an arrow like that. Oh, damn. Last one, Harold. Last one. Come on. Consummate trait. Consummate trait. Consummate trait. All right, watch this. I'm going to Consummate trait. I'm going in the yellow, bro. <laughs> Harold. He's always over the top, a 59.60. You might have an advantage of the, the football throwing and the, and the archery. What about well, the soccer? Uh, you just got to get it in the net. That's a big net. If you miss that net, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> then what? You need to right, take up we're watching for him. We're going to see if he gets it into the net now with all that talk. Bo Jackson. He got fisted right there. Oh, you going to take that? Take that. Oh, big man like you. Well, all these, all these sayings about Bo, but man, that was pretty bad right there. Way up the middle and a little bit to the left, a little shy. <laughs> Bo does not know soccer, ladies and gentlemen, but he does know the archery. That's his love. Oh my goodness. That's a pretty good shot right there. 25, 43. 35 points for not hitting the net. Wade Boggs. 
Sage I think he's too. looking for some chicken still. Yeah, he's in instincts. <laughs> you got, now you're used to it. He ran right you through that one. Oh, man, that was funny. Is it? Nope. No. Doesn't matter how you get in a net, as long as you get it in there. Wade with the left foot. Wait, wait, wait. And Wade, he's a little bit of an archer himself. Whoa. So he's a, he's a mad hunter. He's got skills. And he takes a commanding lead. I like the swag. I like the wow. swag. Yeah. That feels good. Feeling a little better after the hoops. Well, I messed know? up on the first soccer kick and and uh that Did felt you practice good. though? Because that was that was a that pretty phenomenal good. effort. Thanks, I appreciate that. I, I thought that Trevor set the bar at 20 and yeah. I didn't think anybody get under 20. Well, you you just got under 20 Woo. with two seconds. I, think I made so. up for my poor showing of basketball you this did. morning. You did. You certainly made up for <laughs> it. Now you. you're a contender. He's in the game again, <laughs> folks. Back in the game. Back in the game. Steve Garvey. That's not his original swing that he has. He's just, he's playing defense right now. But wow, right in the middle. 13 hopper. Look at that. That is, it might make it. It might. Ah, it's running out of seat. Oh, he's got it. Oh! No, 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 shoot, 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 shoot. Steve, that's in the ground. No, that counts. At 17.95. That is awesome. Look at that form. And, oh, how about that? So there's some age haggling going on, but Absolutely. right there, you know, which is to be expected, I guess. And right there, you just showed everybody up. Absolutely. So this is this is your forte, not the basketball. You were out here last night practicing. Absolutely. This was your plan. That's, that's why you weren't. That's why you weren't at the dinner last night. You know, you gotta night. throw the young guys a bone every now and then. Ozzy and I are members of the Veterans Committee. You know, we can't wait for the next event. Well, here's the thing. You worried about your hand? You were a handicap on the basketball court. Your handicap paid off because you got to bounce one in and then you bounce your arrow in. This is, was that the strategy? Absolutely. Good teammates <laughs> drive you to bring the best out of you because this is America. When you get the opportunity and you're down, you rise yourself up and you look around at your teammates and you tell them, that's how it's done, man. You hear and that? You go on to the next inning. You hear that, world? This is America. So Garvey steals this one, Boggs is second, and Trevor is third. Smoltzy goes from first to last. Overall, Bo is now in first place with Trevor close behind, and they are stacked up in the middle. Big man Frank Thomas brings up the rear. Coming up, golf. It's a beautiful day in Las Vegas, nestled on the corner of the strip in its lush surroundings of 4,000 trees and accented with a gust of white sand. We're at the Bally High Golf Club, 16th hole. Known as the Pacific Rim, named for the water surrounding the green, it is a short, demanding par three, and today will be the site of our closest to the pin competition. We're back at the Players Club, day two. Amber, Bo is in the lead. He is. Apparently, Bo knows consistency because he came in fourth in both events yesterday, but he is leading the pack, whereas John Smoltz and Steve Garvey both came in first in one of the events but then last in the other. So they're actually in the middle of the pack. That's not the way to win this thing, David. Well, the good thing is, is that these baseball players know how to play a little bit of golf. But two guys here, they're big boys. They might muscle some stuff. They might get lucky. They might not, but we'll see. That's Rob Dibble on the left, Steve Garvey on the right, who had their problems. This is closest right to the, the pin competition, and we don't measure balls in the water. Yep. Harold oh. Reynolds on the left, Gary Sheffield on the right. <laughs> They aren't going to make it past the water either. Hey, it did go straight. So, Rob, we got the breakfast of champions today. That looks pretty dang good it because I'm about ready to dip into that bowl of donuts. David, I've been trying to eat healthy for a long time. <laughs> my wife's a vegetarian, and it's not working because my game sucks. Frank Thomas on the tee. He's one of the big guys I was talking about. Aye. But this guy's power, 125 right. yards, should be no problem. I guess it was a problem. You live here in Vegas. You got all, you course. have all these golf courses. You live on one. I used to play all the time. What but, happened? Uh, Why don't you out there? I'm frustrated. I can't play the game. <laughs> it's not a forgiving game for a big man. Right. And I, I know Tiger Woods. Tiger told me my chest is too big to play golf. So, you know, it's one of these things like, I get it. John Schmaltz steps up to the tee with a nice new hairdo that he has. A plus one handicap. Very smooth swing. Oh, that's a little blade. That that's on the rough. Uh, just a bit outside there, a little wide, but, uh, you know, it's still good enough for 12 feet, 5 inches. The wizard, Ozzie Smith, a little half swing, good form, follow through. Very nice, very nice. Nice shot, Ozzie. Need a little bit more spin, 
but still a good shot at 18 feet, six inches. Nice Bo Jackson, he's gonna muscle right. one up here. I ain't saying nothing but a dang two prayer and he hit it in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> He only oh, needed no, one. No, no, no. Oh! And he hits it very nice and tight. Oh, peanut butter jelly time. Way peanut way butter, way butter way jelly way time. Way 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 up, way way Don't celebrate too soon, Bo. Oh, keep going. Oh, look at he talked it all the way down. Keep going. Oh, mark that. Too much backspin on that, Bo. Hang with him, buddy. Oh, that don't count. That's out of play. You should have never used the balada. Never use the balada on these. It's not on the green. That's not on the green. Joe Carter up. Joe gave me a couple lessons up in Tahoe when I was shanking it, so. He's strong like bull. He's got a smooth swing. All he does is golf now that he's retired. Uh-oh, same one. No, Two no. in the same place. Two got a little backspin right there. You're going to roll it off, Joe. It's 11 feet, 6 inches. It's not too shabby. That's a great shot. Bo knows what that means. He lost. Is that in the pictures? Right. Trevor Hoffman. Better get some legs. That's on the front. That's on the front. Nice. Oh, Seven yeah. feet, Poppy. three inches. Poppy. See, is that, you know what? You know what? That's got to be. That's good sportsmanship that yes, I would, it was. I would I mean, lend the guy my club for him to go out there and beat me. In a competition like this, you know? that doesn't happen every day. So know? whenever I face <laughs> you, you better throw me a fastball, okay? I don't want to see that change up. <laughs> Randy Johnson, the big unit with a big, long iron here. There it there is. Go. Oh, I like there it. it. Let's go play. That, that might give Trevor a run for his money. There it is. Nice. Look at that. Oh, oh man. That, very nice. That, Seven feet, right one inches. That's, that's enough to take the lead that. right there. Yeah. Randy Johnson, 7-1. Trevor, 7-3. Joe Carter, 11-6. Frank Thomas, he's in the water. And after three events, we have a new leader. Trevor has moved into first. Bo Jackson, second with 25. And Joe Carter in third. Unfortunately, Wade Boggs had to leave the competition early. <laughs> These are the big fish. This is the this school of big tunas right here. <laughs> big tunas. Hey, how does the breakdown go with the, 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 are we all racing in one group and they're, they're, they're racing in one group? That's how it should be, because I don't want to race the hell. Because he done threatened me already. He's going to run me out. We're back at the Players Club. Competition has been fierce, but we have one competition here today that is really fierce. And we're going to get these guys out here on the racetrack, and we're going to see what they're really capable of doing. This is not simple, people. Let me tell you something. This is dangerous. We got some guys out here. I don't know how their fear factor is on the road, but when they get in competition like this, maybe they can step up. We got guys in the middle of the pack. Winning this event might put them right back on the top. Each guy gets five laps to post his fastest time. The five fastest times qualify for the final. Oh, no. During the qualifying round, Gary Sheffield was looking pretty good until he spun out. <laughs> OK, OK, I'll give him one lap. What happened? <laughs> Go in the wrong way. Trevor Hoffman, a little loose, grazes the wall, but still has a good time. Watch the wall. Fat man Watch the wall. Down. Steve Garvey's driving on the 405 like he's driving Miss Daisy, hits the wall, comes around, and turns and tries to rearrange the racetrack. Hey, hey, he's doing it on purpose. John Smoltz taking his turns around, getting a feel of the track. Oh, my. Oh. He tags the wall. I think he took the first turn a little too fast. He thought he knew the track, and he tried to get a little sneaky, and the wall snuck up on him. Hey, no break on this one. Hey, Smokes, hey! We have the caution flag out, John Smokes. <laughs> In turn number one. <laughs> ah, he comes out of it smelling like a rose. He's walking, ladies and gentlemen. And he's OK, look at that. <laughs> But 
as we see again on uh, replay, it, uh, it was a pretty good little bump and run with that wall. Oh, I love this camera work right here. These guys did a great job. You see everything going on on front of that. You just endured one of the major crashes of the event. I mean, you, you spared no expense. You were going for the time of, of the century, I think. After seeing three guys, that first turn's a doozy. What's going through your mind over there? There was no brake. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the brake and nothing. <laughs> well, then we have a faulty car, but you know what? You made that crash look so good. You came out of it unscathed. You all right? I'm ready to go. Oh, I just need the brake. This is a gamer. It's ringing. Hello? What you doing, man? I'm gonna have the race car, I'm messing around. I'm getting ready to smoke you. Oh, oh, okay. You're on the bubble, I hear. Yeah, I kinda hear that. This is the one time I get to beat you. You know that, you've been talking time. about me for two days. Hey, well, I'm just gonna wish you luck, but I'm gonna put the Noonan on you. The Noonan? Noonan. What's the Noonan? No, 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 no. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Harold Reynolds on the track. Looks a little cautious out there. I'm gonna try to call him. What's this? Answer your phone! Answer your phone! You're not supposed to drive and talk on the phone. That's a huge ticket in California, Bo. Didn't you know that? But is this his last lap? Oh, Lord. Do anybody got a rosary in the car? These are our top five finalists, the speediest racers around the track. There's all this talk from the other guys behind us about how this is rigged, how y'all had better carts. I mean, is there well, any truth to this, that's guys? What, that's usually what you have to expect from losers. Sour grapes. Yeah. Man. Listen, Sour I, grapes. I got don't, four. Don't hate, don't hate the player. Hate the game. Don't I got it. four broken. Well said. Well said. Randy, you're in the top spot. So how are you going to stay in the top spot? Because, I mean, size like did this. not... Because I'm leading. Like, yes. they're behind me. They're not fast. And you're going to go the fastest. Size did not seem to be a factor here. Uh, it's not going to be now. <laughs> it's not going to be now. I like, no, I like the confidence. Bo, on the other hand, who is, you know, a little bit a little bit behind you guys, still in the top five, but I, you're fifth right now. So the thing is, though, I heard you a minute ago say that, you know, you're you're going into NASCAR now. Going you're, NASCAR. I mean, get, getting a little uber confident, don't you think? Black Ricky Bobby. <laughs> and here are qualifying times. Randy Johnson, 29, Joe Carter, 29, Trevor, 29, Schmulte, 29, and Bo Jackson, 30. And as we get ready for the, the pace lap here, guy's gonna get a little fill. You know, they know the track a little bit, but Randy Johnson has the lead here, and you know, these guys just trying to get their turns right, get proper, and John Smoltz with his camera lens here, looking pretty good. You can see everything, front and back. But now, look at this gap that Randy Johnson has put in between just the pace lap here. Um, I, I, I don't know, I think there's gonna be a discrepancy here because all of a sudden, Randy Johnson's way the heck out in front, and these guys were just taking a little normal pace lap. But, you know, we gotta play catch up here. As we make this first turn here, everything's looking pretty good, but Randy Johnson in a commanding lead. Joe Carter in the 45 car. Hoffy in the 33 card, good number. Now Trevor takes over, he's in second place. But Randy Johnson, oh, he's about 15 car lengths in front. My word. We got Bo Jackson, he, he's holding up the rear, skidding out a little bit. But uh, you know, there's a huge gap here, huge gap. Trevor second, Joe Carter in third. You know, Smolch, I think he's a little intimidated from that, uh, from that crash earlier. But, uh, I mean, this is a commanding lead. This is crazy. Randy Johnson, I think you could walk the rest of the way and still beat these guys. I mean, that's a, that's a significant amount of time. But here we are fighting for second and third, obviously. But uh, these guys really don't, uh, there was only a little bump and run here. Oh, there we go. I think that might be a little Trevor and Carter going at it. There's a little fun. You know, hey, guys, it's bumper cars. John Smoltz. 
Still holding up the fourth hole here. He's a good cleanup hitter. Wishes he was out in front. Now lap four. Wow. Randy Johnson, you are the man in this one. I think you're going to get a little bit of flack from the boys. A little bump and run right there. Joe Carter and John Smoltz. Bo Jackson is not showing up yet. Where the heck is Bo? Bo, you do not know. You know fifth place, Bo. <laughs> I think Harold Reynolds is going to have a little fun with Bo Jackson, you know, since they've been going at it. But lap five, here we go. And it's, it's just a commanding lead. I, I, this is a layup for uh, Randy Johnson. Oh, surprisingly, Bo Jackson moves into fourth place. John Smoltz is uh, either running out of gas or he's got a flat tire. He might have to make a pit, but he can't make a pit on the last lap here. Hang with him, buddy. Nice camera work right there. Bo Jackson showing off his buffness. And Randy Johnson takes the checkered flag with Trevor Hoffman second, Joe Carter third. Bo Jackson squeezes in fourth place in front of John Smoltz, who takes fifth. A final look at Randy, but there seems to be a problem down in pit row. Tell us why you were upset about well, the competition. I, I, it don't make I'm not, first of all, I'm not upset about the competition, okay. but the way it was supposed to be, I've seen a few NASCAR races, they have the pace, pace car, car in front, and you just kind right. of follow position all the way around. You get to the starting line and go. Randy, Randy. took off, and he was gone. They're, they're trying to accuse off. you of cheating, Randy. That's oh, what's going on, on here. You took, you took, you took, you took off, Randy. A hitter. Do, do, do pitchers court bats? No. I don't either. <laughs> and and I'm not insinuating you are, but now you're insinuating I'm a cheater. I, I'm not cheating. No, cheater. I'm just saying. We're not, look at all you, the witnesses did you start, I have. Did you start off as the... Yeah, as the pace car, you know, we're supposed to go. Pace car, I, I, I went and we... But you took off too fast. We're supposed to just go. You're, nice supposed, to, you're supposed to keep. You're supposed to stay with me. But there's no, no pace car. There's when, no pace car out there. When you took off, you were zoomed. That was, was just. And, and, you're supposed to be cruising. What's wrong with your gas pedal? What's wrong with your gas pedal? No, clubs. well, because I was doing it the right way, and that's why I hauled. Oh, everybody else was doing you. the right way. I think you had a chance to beat me the way I was racing today. I like. I like well, it. I like the attitude. I like it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go. Hold on. Let me go get my trophy. Here's what they're talking about. Randy just took off. Well, Randy, congratulations on the win. You've had a heck so of a I, day. For first of all, you know, I, I want to win fairly, so if Joe wants a rematch, yeah. I'm more than happy a to give him one. legitimate start. Well, that's my... Yeah, that's... there's some, you know, I pull up uh, in the victory lane he here, and he's already at my car when I'm getting out and insinuating that I had cheated. Well, when you were doing your victory lap, they were in here, discrepancy was at its finest here, saying that you cheated. Trevor wanted a pace card, make sure. They thought they were going to stop you guys, but you know what? You, you know, did things was, right. If, you just if I didn't look back. You didn't if, look back. I didn't look back. That's if I was doing something not... wrong, then they should have stopped me here. We could have, you know, gotten things straightened out I like totally we did agree. on a couple other false starts. I totally agree with all you, right. but you know what? All right. This will shut them all up. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Randy Johnson, you. big winner at the IndyCar. Here's the final results for the go-karts. Randy's second win in the competition. Trevor coming in second, and Joe in third. And the overall standings, Trevor holds on to first place, Randy moves into second, Joe takes third place from Bo, and Frank holding on tight to last place. There's too many egos. No one likes losing in this crowd, but bottom line is, I know I'm in the last place, but we still got one more event, and it's a poker event. That's my strength in the competition, poker. We'll have fun. Here's how the chips stack up. Each point the players got in the first four events is worth 10,000 in chips. Trevor's on top with 39,500, and Frank's on the bottom with 12,500. The game is Texas Hold'em, and winner takes all. Two tables to start with, let's catch the action. Gary Sheffield with pocket aces, Dibble around. with king five suited. What do I need to mess it? And there's a king, four, three, queen, and a five on the board. Rob Dibble has two pair here. And Gary Schiffo has nothing to go with those pocket aces. He's got that in the ashtray. 3,800. Get <laughs> in the console. Uh-oh. One at a time. Pair of aces. I have a feeling that's not good enough. And buy two pair. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my. A little sympathy love. How do you lose with two aces? 
After losing that hand, Gary Sheffield takes it over to the Terry Fader Show. Here's what's going to happen is I'm going to turn you into a puppet, okay? So uh, do me a favor. <laughs> yeah, turn around. Taylor is going to outfit you in a mask. This mask is going to allow me to take total control of Gary's ability to talk. That's right. Now, for all of you wives out there that wonder how easy this is, all you need is one of these. Gary, you look great. You look fantastic. Okay, now, Gary, listen, I, I've got a, uh, a quick question. Is there a special secret wish? Something you have never told a soul that you would absolutely love to get off your chest and confess to this audience tonight? <laughs> I'm actually telling you, yeah, there is. You know, I figured there was. <laughs> I've always wanted to be Dolly Parton. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We are gonna make that happen tonight. In order to do this, we do have to put a dress on you. Is that okay with you? Turn around, Gary, turn around. All right, now, turn around. Just turn around, just stand right here. No, no, go move right up here. Now, Gary, we're gonna do a duet. I'm gonna be Rod Stewart, and you're gonna be Dolly Parton. Now, when you start singing, Gary, I want you to start dancing, okay? This crowd's gonna go crazy. They're gonna love your dancing. Help us out, everybody. Come on, Gary. Show these people how Dolly would do it. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. Back at the Players Club. While we were gone, eight of the guys went out. Trevor Hoffman serving refreshments. Get your plates ready. These are our chips, okay? <laughs> we're down to the final four. Joe Carter, Randy Johnson, Harold Reynolds, and Bo Jackson still at the table. Where's that down there? Two thousand a stay. Yeah. Kind of hard to have conversation with a mouthful of pizza. Joe going back for seconds and thirds. Carter with King A's. Jackson with Jack oh, yeah, King. Joe, yeah, put some money in there. Pretty strong hands right there. You got 10, 2, 4, Queen, Jack. I don't know. Pretty intense. Look at these poker faces. Who All in. All in. Bo Jackson make a serious bid right here, trying to bluff out Joe Carter with Ace King. All in. Joe calls his bluff. There you go, getting that stared at. <laughs> Somebody going home. Gonna play with lesser money right there. Joe Carter has a bunch. Randy, you jumping in? No. Straight. What do we got here? What'd you have? <laughs> he flops him in there. Good enough. You go. Way to go, Bo Jackson. Hey, man, man. See you later. <laughs> I'm all in me, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> He finally, 20 years. <laughs> this is a mall victory for you. I go home now. <laughs> All that smack talking right, through the event, and Harold Reynolds finally gets his say-so to Bo Jackson. There was one particular person who was extremely excited, though, about beating you. Harold, Harold Reynolds. I've settled 20 years right there of animosity. America, this is the first time in 20 years that Harold Reynolds has ever bettered me in anything. And... I tip my hat to him. Are you going to let it happen again? A lucky dog, never. <laughs> never again. Never. <laughs> never again. One time. That's it. In a lifetime, Bo Jackson. Or does count. Oh, 
all in. All in. Yeah. See, what do you got there? So. Well, we got uh, Joe Carter with Ace Jack and Harold Reynolds with Ace Three suited. He I'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. Look at that seriousness in Joe's face. He's got his glasses on. You think he's been doing this for a long time. No help. But I mean, I'm done. Yep. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got another loser. Oh, well, Joe, Randy, it's uh, down to you two, and I, and Randy, it doesn't look very good right now with this big little chip lead that he, that you're supporting over here, and he gets this big old chip. Well, Yogi, well, Yogi Berra said it ain't over till it's over. And that's right, and you know, there, there's always a fighting chance, and you're not one to quit, that's for sure, and uh, I think, you know what? Every blind squirrel finds a nut. There you go. And there's a big stack need, of them right there. I just need a couple cards. That's you right. never know. Well, let's see how this thing plays out. Good luck to you. I'm going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, him out. He wants yeah. to put me all in. It's what 4, he, he's, more, so. I'm, 4, I'm 1,000 on credit right now. 3,000 more. 3, more. Mm -hmm. uh, well, so I'm all in right now then? Is that right? 4,000. 4, yes. Well, it doesn't look good. Randy Johnson, uh, King go. 7, Joe Carter, Jack 7. But the way this has been going, Joe's been getting all the cards. King 7. <clears throat> and here we go. Here's the flop. Ace 410. Okay, it's, you know, got a nine there. And here's the river. Ace. You hung on. Randy Johnson. You hung on. You survived another hand. Very nice. Very nice. Four thousand. So we'll see. There is a fighting chance, as they say. Joe Carter's still going to put them all in. He has to. Joe with a ten-eight suited. Randy with the queen four. Joe makes his bet. Ten eight. Randy calls. Queen four. Let's see the flop. Three, four, five. Randy's got a pair of fours with the queen. Ten or eight be good. And a queen. Oh, there it is. Two pair. He's oh, looks like this living. hands over. And he's got a full boat. Nice hand there for Randy Johnson. <laughs> hey, he's coming back. He's making some noise. Joe Carter takes his glasses off, getting a little bit nervous. But, uh, you know, it's funny how these cards work. Ooh, Randy Johnson with ace 10 suited against Joe's ace 2. 3,000 more. Option? Check. These are scary hands because those twos like to pop up once in a blue moon. In the flop, you got a 2 5 with Randy's. Ace 10 to okay. Joe's ace okay. pair of twos. I'll go all in. All in. Yeah. Put them all in. I'll call. Call. Right thing to do, even though it's a small pair there. Ace 10. <laughs> Eight or 10. Oh, my. Randy's surviving on one card and one card only, and that'll be a 10. A nine of clubs showing, and the river, another two. Joe Carter, Thanks, babe. you are our Good champion. Good job, Randy. Well, Joe, congratulations. You grinded it out with the best of them. You got a quite of a big chip lead here going in, and you just, you stayed steady, and then when you get that kind of lead, you bully people. <laughs> but I'm telling you what, Boomer, that is nerve-wracking, because my hands were shaking. I was like, okay, because because Randy, I mean, he, I had him down to about 12,000, he came back a couple of hands. But uh, it's all been great. It's all been fun. Uh, this has been a great uh, few days here in Vegas. Awesome event. You had a great showing in every event. We really appreciate you coming to this Players Club. 
It's, it was a great event. It was fun watching all you guys, interviewing you. And you know what? Go home. I know you got two girls in grad school. That money's going to go to good use. Yeah, it'll it come to good use. But I, I tell you what, I was more nervous here than I was in game six of the World Series. <laughs> <laughs> and that's no joke. That is serious. <laughs> Woo!